and I'll start with the obvious one, the weather. How are you finding it so far? It's been a bit wet, hasn't it, since you arrived? Yeah, it has, it has. Um, yeah, but it's a pretty big change, obviously, from, from back home in Newcastle. It was about 39 degrees, one of the last days I was there. But, um, yeah, look, it's not my first time to England. I've been here yeah, four times previously, so um, I've kind of experienced it before. But, uh, you know, I knew that was all part of it, the weather. and um, but. Look, that was that was pretty far down on the on the list for me. I wanted to come over here with me and my family, my wife and, and two young girls, and experience a whole different culture and meet some new friends and um, you know play for a, for a great club who I'd um, had you know mates who have played with before um, played at this club. So you've only been here a few days at the moment, but how are you settling in? How's the family settling in? Yeah, really good. Look, the first few days were um, a little bit weird, I suppose, at night time waking up um, wide awake and the kids wide awake at 2 a.m. which was um, which was a bit of an experience but um, yeah the last couple of nights have been really good everyone's sleeping through so I think slowly we're, we're into the um, UK um, time frame. You've experienced training now how are you finding it here at the training facility? Yeah look I think it's a great great setup I, you know, I wasn't sure about what um, the facilities here I'd obviously heard um, through a close mate Andrew Johns who played here back a few years ago now that was a you know, really professional club. Brian Carney, um, who's a good mate of mine, who played at Newcastle and, and at Warrington. Um, both those guys couldn't have gave a, a bigger rap. And it's, um, look, it's great facilities here, uh, the, the gym, the barn here, and um, I've only seen the outside of the stadium at the moment, but it all looks top notch. And yeah, looking forward to, to be playing in the stadium um, soon. It'd be good for Andrew Johns to come over as well then pre-season, meet up with him again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look, it's, you know, he's, he's helped me so much throughout my career. And uh, yeah, so it'd be good to, it's always good to catch up with him and um, he's always got plenty of stuff to offer and, and learn from. What have you thought the lads are there? A great bunch, they making you feel welcome. Yeah, they are. Look, it's, it's just trying to remember everyone's names is the hardest part for me to start <laughs> with. to remember one new one, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. But um, yeah, look, they've all been you know, really welcoming. Uh, all the staff have been, been great, really professional. Um, club and, and outfit and yeah everyone's been really good really helpful and have they let you touch the music system yeah have you had your input no i won't go near the music at the moment I'm, i'd be a bit embarrassed about probably what's on my ipod at the moment uh, i'm not sure how that'll go over so i'll leave that to the other guys the more experienced guys in the gym there so you're looking forward to the new challenger and what do you think you can bring to the side yeah look part of part of coming over for me look i've had a, had a great career in newcastle and, and been really proud of what i'd done back in the nrl but um, at this stage of my career i was looking for a change and a, and a new challenge in my, in my, my life and my career, I, I guess. And um, my wife was really supportive of that. And um, so look, with coming over here, it, it brings a whole new challenge for, for myself in, in uh, as, a, as a player, but also um, a whole new life experience. And yeah, I want to want to bring plenty of plenty of energy, enthusiastic. Um, hopefully I can in, in, inspire my teammates into, into uh, winning some games and, and being, being better players. The fellow Aussie, Ashton Sims, came over last year. He settled in at Warrington. Um, has he told you about the, the sites and signs and, and around Warrington and the area? Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. I think you know all the guys have been really helpful as far as um, you know where to go and and how to get around town. And uh, look, it's I'm living in Stockton Heath. It seems like a beautiful spot. It looks, it looks like there's plenty to do around that area and restaurants and that sort of thing. So it's a really nice spot. It's um, pretty close to training in the stadium. So. It's all going yeah, pretty smoothly at the moment. And the all-important question: What's your favourite type of coffee? Oh, coffee! Well, I'm still, I'm still tasting a lot of coffees, different coffees at the moment over here. And um, obviously, back in Australia, they're pretty popular. But I go for the standard cup of cappuccino back there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still, still taste testing still the local, the local. Club. I have had one of those yeah, already. Yeah. I have, I have. Yeah. I, um, a few of the lads are a part of the coffee club, so you need to get in that one. Okay, I'll do that one. <laughs> Oh, 